Wasteland, my name is Ronald and welcome to another whiskey review. Today we are reviewing a blend, not a single malt or a bourbon for that matter. We are reviewing uh, a Johnny Walker, yes, Johnny Walker Black Label. But this is not normal Black Label, no, this is double black. Is it twice as good, twice as expensive? No, it's more intense on the smoky side and I like that. You have the normal Black Label which is 12 years old, this is a non aged stated whiskey. Not a bad thing if you're looking for a peated whiskey. Peated whiskies are most of the time better when they are, well, more intense on the peat and the smoke when they are younger. The older the peated whiskey is, the, the well less intense the smoke gets and the more mellow it gets. And if you're searching for that peat hit, that big smokiness then a younger whiskey like a Lafroy 10 or an Art Pack 10 is what you are looking for. And well, as is the case with, uh, with this one, I have never tried double black, um, but from what I heard, and I do a lot of research off camera, if you're looking for smoke etc, you need to get this. Price wise, they are not far apart. Um, this is around 30, 35, below 20. Depends on discounts, depends on regions. Prices of Johnny Walkers fluctuate a lot. Um, I have seen this for the price of a normal black label. I will always get this above the black label because this is more smoky. It's just a thing. They created this to be more smoky, more peaty, more intense. So yeah, if I'm looking for that, I will get this. If I'm looking for 12 year old whiskey, I will not get double black. I will just get, I don't know, uh, double woods or a Highland Park for that matter. Um, so yeah, I just think this is a better option compared to uh, normal black label. 40% uh, chill filtered, so uh, yes, a rich, intense, smoky blend containing whiskey matured in deep charred old oak casks. Well, John Walker and Sons. The pioneering spirit and unique blending skills of our founder created Johnny Walker Black Label in 1909. It is not recognized, oh, it is now recognized as the world's number one best selling deluxe blended scotch whiskey. That's not true, but it was probably when they wrote it on here. Johnny Walker Double Black is a blended whiskey created in the style of Johnny Walker Black Label, but with a rich, more intense, smokier flavor. It's proof that this pioneering spirit is still alive and well today. Uh, graded through blending selected aged whiskies that are naturally smoky and rich in character, with those matured in deep charred old oak casks, our master blender has created a whiskey of real character and depth of taste. Um, this is not only Isla whiskies. Uh, last week, I think, I reviewed uh, the Ardmore Legacy. That is a Highland uh, whiskey that is smoky. So, um, yeah, they, of course, could have used, um, I don't know, maybe Lafroig or Artback. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I can uh, find some in here, but, yeah. Um, it's also a high, well, um, prob prob probability that there are Highland or Speyside uh, smoky whiskies in here. But the thing with smoky whiskies is, I am going to explain that, if you're producing a smoky whiskey, you need to clean out all the, well, all the distilling stuffs that you use. I, I forgot the word. Um, I, I know the Dutch word, but I, I can't go in English at the moment. Um, all the distilling devices and pipes and tubes and uh, stills and all that stuff uh, because otherwise you will remain uh, they will remain with the, the the smoky aspects of a whiskey so um, yeah once a year a lot of distillers uh, are going to produce uh, a smoky uh, whiskey I think ba ba Balvini does it uh, who else does it? Um, Kolaila does uh, unpeated line. So yeah, they have to clean out uh, the whole thing after they have done that. I, ju I just can't find the word. What's the English? Not devices. I, I, I'm going to look it up. I am going to look it up. I'm going to look it up. 
One, one second. This is interesting. Equipment. That's the word I was searching for. You have to clean out all the distilling equipment uh, to, uh, well, get rid of all that smoke and all that brine and all the peat and all the lovely smoky notes. But um, yeah, this is, of course, colored, as are all the Johnny Walkers. Um, it's kind of an amber color. Uh, light amber it's yeah it's heavily colored okay I don't think this is uh, anywhere near uh, the age of the normal uh, double black but um, they can it, it, it can also be uh, 12 years but if they decided to put a three year old uh, heavily peated whiskey in here then well they can't write an age statement on age statement on there because then they have to name it three years old so yeah, there may be some uh, older whiskies in here, maybe. On the nose, peat, smoke, citrus, honey and vanilla. Yes. Lovely. I like it a lot. Kind of the same characteristics that I, well, recognize from that art more. But it's different, it's smokier, it's a little bit more medicinal. Not a lot though. Some freshness, honey, honeydew, honeydew melon maybe even, yeah. There are fruits in here. Yeah, the honeydew melon I think is right. Fresh fruits. Some grass, heather. If you go deep, you get a little bit of the... the yeah, what, what am I going to call it? Youthness hint. Maybe a little bit of a metallic, harsh, ethanol -y note. But if you just know it, then you don't get it. But if you go deep... Yeah, it is really there in the back line. But yeah, smoke hides all that stuff, so that's nice. But it's a good it's a good decent nose for not an expensive whiskey on the palate. Watery mouthfeel. Mmm. Oh. Compared to the art more, just for my personal sake, this is better. But it's a blend. So blends can be good, ladies and gentlemen. It starts off kind of watery, a bit light. There's a little bit of peat, a little bit of everything, spiciness, a little bit of honey, a little bit of vanilla, smokiness, peat. Yeah, you get the picture. Then it rises up. Spiciness is spreading. Smoke is covering. Sounds like a poem. But, yeah, I like it a lot. The, the, the mouthfeel gets better. More like a silky cream, even. A little bit of maltiness is appearing there. And some oak and aftertaste now. But let, let's go back to that midsection. Because that was really interesting. Like a, I don't want to say a flavor bomb. But there's definitely something happening in the mid palate. In the development. Mm, 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 mm. Kind of sweet, nice. Mm. A little bit of cask is kicking in. Aftertaste, a little bit of dryness, maltiness with honey. Not overly sweet though, more vanilla. And then now the peat and the smoke is coming in. But smoke covering the peat. At the back of my my cheeks, the smoke is, is sitting. They created something that's nice. This is also a good introductory whiskey um, for some of you that want to get in, 
to the peated whiskies, like the heavily peated whiskies. Yeah, this is th this is a good blend. This is just a really good blend. I enjoy this. Um, yeah, Johnny Walker makes some great stuff. Uh, I I love the black label, uh, the, <laughs> the double black label. Yes, they they should have just put one normal black label and just another one down here. That uh, I I would have done that. That's that was amazing. But um, the green label I also love. Then um, well the platinum. Of course, I love as well. And Johnny Walker makes some great stuff. Blends are overlooked a lot. But, yeah. The, the, the one thing that I want to try as well. And that's probably what I will get to replace this. Um, uh, excuse me. Is Black Bottle. Black Bottle is cheaper around 20, 25, I believe. Maybe even lower than 20. Uh, it used to be all Isla malts. But now... It's not, but that's okay because this is also not that. Is there grain in here? I know that the green label is um, only blended malt. And some people say, well, that's the only blended uh, malt Johnny Walker produces. Because in a lot of blends there are grain as fillers. I don't know if that's the case here. If so, it has the complexity of a single malt. There's a lot going on in here. The spiciness, the smokiness, everything. Um, the aftertaste, I don't have anything in my mouth now. Let's let's see how it how it goes with the aftertaste. Hmm. Meat appearing. A little bit of pepper in the development. Yeah, we're in the aftertaste now and it's still going. There's smoke all around. Spiciness dancing on my tongue. Yeah. And now it is disappearing and it's gone now. Yeah, well, yeah, it's mostly gone. A little bit of the dry, smoky mouthfeel is left. But the taste is pretty much gone. And the spiciness on my tongue as well. So, yeah, kind of a short aftertaste. False kind of short. I would have liked it to well, go on a little longer. But hey, don't... Uh, don't be expecting too much from a 30, 25 uh, US dollars pounds blended whiskey. I'm not going to say scotch because it may make some people angry. Hmm. Yeah, I enjoy it. I enjoy it a lot. It's not demanding or anything. The 40% is just, well, it's, it's there. So I rated the Ardmore, I have it sitting on my shelf, that's why I'm looking that way, uh, 8 I believe. I think I will rate this higher, especially for the price and availability. You can get this anywhere. You can get this anywhere. And the, the price and the, the consistency, the consistency is also a thing uh, that is important in the whiskey. Because casks are not what they are uh, 20 years ago, etc, etc. Whiskey changes year after year, another batch, another batch, they change, they change. Um, I will rate this higher than the Ardmore, I will. There are similarities between this and the Ardmore, but I think this is just a step up. But you get more of the Isla characteristics in here with that meatiness. Maybe some coastalness, but saltiness. Not really. Maybe it's there in the back, but yeah. For a blend, it's really, really good. So my my malt mark or blend mark, whatever you want to call it, is just my mark. Is going to be an 8.5 out of 10. I think it's a good step up from the art more. It gives you that little bit of an extra. But yeah, you get a little bit of the more medicinal note. This is not really bonfire. It's more of a combination of the two smokes. So yeah, if you have never had a smoky whiskey before, I will probably first introduce someone to the art more. See if they like that. Then go to this. Because this can get a little bit intense with the spiciness and the pepperness. But yeah, if you are, uh, well, a, a PD whiskey drinker, but you have never had this, try it out. Because it's different than an art bag or a Lafroic. So, yes, this is something that I recommend to every single whiskey drinker out there, experienced uh, 
uh, a new whiskey drinker this this is just a good one to have in your bar for the price and yeah this is a really good whiskey to just sit enjoy and just let it take you on a journey it has a good mouthfeel it doesn't fall um, it doesn't fall any and any it doesn't f <laughs> words english difficult it doesn't fall short on me anywhere so i think an 8.5 is a solid mark for this and well if you want to see how this whiskey um, well reacted with water then head over to my my website link is down below in the description of this video um, yeah there is also a, a thing with uh, well what water did to this whiskey and what i think about it so yeah thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed and i will catch you next time goodbye